so uh, I finally finished this book, Really Enough. Um, it's a memoir, which I always hesitate to put a rating on because it feels kind of wrong to rate somebody's life story, except, you know, I can at least talk a little bit about um, whether it was effectively written and that kind of thing. This is a book that I would not have heard of, um, except that my book club uh, selected it. It's uh, from 2012 and it is self-published. Um, and uh, normally my book club doesn't select a book uh, to read. We all just read what we want and come and talk about things we've read. It's way more laid back than having assigned reading, but we're going to be on some kind of Zoom call with the author of this one um, <clears throat> at our next meeting, so I was trying to get it read so I would know what we were talking about. Anyway, this is uh, written, well, I don't know what the writing process was like. Um, it's the story of Margaret Zhao and um, Kathleen Martins helped bring it to the page. Um, Margaret is a comedian, uh, but she grew up in China uh, during Chairman Mao's, you know, big revolution. Um, and so this is a really, it's a really dense story of growing up poor um, after her family is like uh, taken from their kind of elevated status they're you know they're sent to the fields to work and um and you know anyway it's 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 a lot <laughs> this book was hard to read not in a bad way but in like the fact that like at first i could only get 10 to 12 pages at a time read because there was just a lot uh and then we go through her um, her childhood and, you know, um, her eventual, like, arrival in America. Like, I don't want to give too much away. Um, there aren't photos in the book, but there is a website. And they even say, if you don't want the story ruined for you, don't go look at the pictures on the website. Uh, until you've read the book or else you'll kind of know what ends I mean you know she becomes a comedian so and I know she's still alive because she's gonna be at our book club meeting um but um yeah so it it was a, like I said it was a lot uh it was really educational to see what China was like at that time I don't know a whole lot about that period of history so it was really eye-opening in that way um the author's voice is very strong here i think whatever um kathleen martins did to help write it she definitely kept the author's voice as authentic as possible um which is great but in some cases made for some convoluted uh wording of things um and it needed one more good proofread. There were definitely, as an editor, there were definitely places where I was like, that's, you know, and, and that's nitpicky stuff. That's like, they forgot to open the quotes here. They should have, you know, made this a new paragraph instead of continuing the paragraph or whatever. Little things like that. Um, but uh, I was expecting it to be funnier since she is a comedian. Um, but uh, the the comedy thing is kind of very at the end of the book and there's not a lot of humor in the whole of the book I know she tried I mean it's hard to make light of a lot of this but also I, I mean I think there are places where she tries to be light about it but it just doesn't it's not really quite funny um uh, she does talk about how humor was her way of dealing with difficult situations, um, trying to make her mother laugh when she was young and things like that. So that totally makes sense. Um, you know, she had some 
really difficult relationships uh and that maybe just you know spoke to me um yeah maybe you know that was something i could i guess identify with as a person um since the childhood thing felt very alien i mean i grew up i wouldn't say poor but lower middle class and you know but it's nothing like that so uh yeah so it i i ended up giving it four stars on goodreads um because i did i know self-published authors self-published books they need the the boost of ratings and reviews um <laughs> i know that from personal experience and um Again, it's so hard to rate a memoir, but I think this was effectively written. I think the voice, like I said, was really strong. Um, and though it was a difficult read, it wasn't difficult in a bad way. It was just, I mean, there's there's a lot. She's had quite a life and there's a, there's a lot to it. Um, and it, it's a little bit confusing because like the family names are all very similar uh, in some in some cases. Um, so uh, I was like, wait, which sister is this? She, you know, uh, trying to keep that all kind of in my head. Um, sorry, my camera's doing something strange. I'm just trying to. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I. Uh, I went and looked at the the photos on the website. It's nice to have the companion website. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a good book. It's a it's a a worthwhile read, especially if you have an interest in that time period and in China. Um, to hear it fr first person, you know, from someone who's lived it is incredibly impactful. Uh, so definitely, um, really enough. That's her name because she's like the sixth child and her parents kept naming their kids like, uh, you know, um, complete happiness, double happiness. And then they got to like enough happiness, you know, really enough, you know, like they were just like kind of trying to tell the gods to quit sending them children <laughs> because they really couldn't even, you know, sustain their growing family. Um, so there's a little bit of, um, I don't want to, I don't know if that's humor, but there's a little bit of humor in the story of her name, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's, again, a good book. Uh, I'll be interested in hearing the author at the book club meeting. And if I learn anything new or exciting, um, from that, I will definitely, uh, maybe make a little update video with some more background information. Um, but yeah, really enough. A true story of tyranny, courage, and comedy. 